he has killed a 24 year old mother and he has killed a three year old little boy and a four year old little boy that ain't got a chance anymore to even live a life. Tonight we hear from devastated family after their loved ones lost their lives in a crash in Cookville. It happened while they were on their way to daycare. News Force Joshua Cole has the latest details from police about this chase that led up to the crash. Flowers, balloons and teddy bears all for a mother and her two young sons killed in a collision here in Cookville as authorities were chasing a suspect. I am terribly upset, been crying all day because you see your grandkids in the morning. They are, were that happy. Lisa tells me she learned her daughter in law, Amanda Chapman and grandsons Alex and Brayden were killed just shortly after they'd left to go to daycare. They said she was sitting at that red light or something and she just got nailed. Just innocent as I'll get out. She got hit and she got killed that quick, all three of them. Cookville police say Tennessee Highway Patrol was in a chase with the driver of a Toyota Tacoma. 25 year old Michael Shepard was coming down Interstate Drive through Cookville. Then at Willow Avenue, Shepard collided with Amanda's car. And I would never have nothing else to say to that man that, that, that done this, driving that high of a speed. And, and look, what, look what he's harmed in this world. At such an early time of day, Lisa questions why Shepard fled authorities starting the chase. THP officials have not said why yet. Just because somebody's at a high rate of speed and the cop and a state troopers chasing them, it's just unfair. Lisa and other family and friends laid a memorial for the mother and her sons mourning the life they should have had at an intersection now tainted. I'm going to be driving up down this road the rest of my life, and that's all I'm going to think about is those two little boys. The suspect, Michael Shepard, he's expected in court here in Putnam County tomorrow, already facing three counts of vehicular homicide and evading arrest. I'm Joshua Cole, News 4 Nashville.